This is going to blow your mind. Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of ants and termites. Despite their similar appearances, these two insect species are worlds apart in their behaviors and roles in nature. Though both are master collaborators, building complex societies with millions of individuals, one is a fearsome hunter, the other, a master builder. Let's explore some surprising facts about their interactions and rivalries. Our story begins millions of years ago, in an era before the dinosaurs had even walked the earth. It was during this time that the very first ants and termites emerged, though they chose very different paths. Ants, belonging to the order Hymenoptera, share a common ancestor with bees and wasps. Their evolution, taking place approximately 140 million years ago, equipped them with powerful stingers and a taste for sugary nectar and protein-rich insects. Termites, on the other hand, belong to the order Blatidaea, making them closer relatives to cockroaches than ants. Emerging around 150 million years ago, these silent architects developed a unique taste for wood, a diet that would shape their destiny and their interactions with ants. Both ants and termites are social creatures creating bustling metropolises beneath our feet, yet their societies, while both intricate, have distinct differences. Ants, with their strict caste system, have a queen, the matriarch responsible for laying all the eggs. Her diligent daughters, the worker ants, tirelessly forage for food, maintain the nest and care for the young. Should danger arise, the soldier ants, armed with formidable mandibles, bravely defend their home. Some ant species even have multiple queens, adding another layer of complexity to their already impressive social structure. Termites, though also possessing a caste system, have a unique twist. At the heart of their colony reigns a king and queen. This royal pair, unlike in ant colonies, mate for life, a testament to their commitment to the colony's growth and prosperity. It's often said that you are what you eat, and this rings incredibly true in the ant and termite world. Ants, with their diverse palates, are the ultimate omnivores. Their menu boasts a range of delicacies, from the sugary secretions of aphids, known as honeydew, to the protein-rich bodies of fallen insects. This adaptable diet allows ants to thrive in a variety of habitats, from forests to deserts. Termites, however, are creatures of singular focus, their diet primarily consisting of cellulose. This complex sugar, forming the main component of wood and plant fibers, requires specialized gut bacteria to break down. This unique dietary preference makes termites both essential decomposers in their ecosystems and at times unwelcome guests in our homes. Chapter 4. Natural Enemies. Ants Hunt and Eat Termites. The relationship between ants and termites is one fraught with tension, a delicate dance between predator and prey. For many ant species, termites represent a protein-rich meal, and they've developed ingenious strategies for exploiting this food source. Consider the Matabele ants, formidable hunters of the African savanna. These skilled raiders send out scouts to locate termite mounds, their keen senses detecting the slightest hint of their prey. Upon discovering a mound, the scouts return to their colony, their excited pheromone trails communicating the promise of a feast. Soon, a well-organized battalion of Matabele ants marches towards the unsuspecting termites prepared for a full-scale assault. Chapter 5. Defensive Mechanisms, Termites vs. Ants The termite world, however, is no stranger to the threat of ant invasions. Over millennia they've evolved an impressive arsenal of defenses, transforming their seemingly peaceful mounds into fortresses. Termite soldiers, larger than their worker counterparts, are the first line of defense. Some boast fearsome mandibles, capable of crushing ants with a single snap. Others possess a more insidious weapon, a nozzle-like projection on their heads that sprays a sticky, toxic chemical, debilitating their attackers. The architecture of the termite mound itself provides another layer of protection. Narrow tunnels and strategically placed choke points slow down invaders limiting the number of ants that can attack at once. Chapter 6. Chemical Warfare In the insect world, communication is often a matter of chemistry, and the battle between ants and termites is no exception. Ants, masters of chemical signaling, use pheromones to orchestrate their attacks. Scout ants, upon discovering a termite mound, lay down a pheromone trail, guiding their nestmates to the battleground. Alarm pheromones released during combat alert nearby ants, quickly escalating a minor skirmish into a full-blown invasion. Termites, though less reliant on pheromones for offense, 
have developed a keen sensitivity to their enemy's chemical signals. Upon detecting ant pheromones, termite workers spring into action, sealing off tunnels and evacuating vulnerable areas of the nest. Termite mounds often towering over the landscape are more than just homes, they are complex ecosystems meticulously designed for defense. The mound's thick walls, made from a mixture of soil, saliva, and termite excrement, provide insulation against temperature fluctuations and invading predators. Inside, a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers further hampers invaders, creating a confusing maze for ants to navigate. Some termite species take their architectural ingenuity even further, incorporating features like false entrances and dead-end tunnels to trap and confuse their enemies. When ants and termites clash, the battlefield becomes a scene of chaos and carnage. Ants, often relying on brute force, swarm their prey, overwhelming them with sheer numbers. They tear at termite soldiers, their powerful mandibles ripping through their defenses. Worker ants, following close behind, snatch up termite eggs and larvae, carrying them back to their nest as a protein-rich bounty. Termites facing such onslaught rely on their coordinated defenses. Soldier termites forming a living barricade block passageways with their bodies, sacrificing themselves to buy time for their nestmates to escape. Workers, even amidst the chaos, continue to repair breaches in the nest, their efforts a testament to their unwavering commitment to the colony's survival. Though often mistaken for one another, ants and termites possess distinct physical characteristics that reflect their evolutionary paths. Ants, with their segmented bodies, sport a narrow waist or petiole that connects their thorax and abdomen. This wasp-like waist grants them flexibility, allowing them to maneuver through tight spaces and deliver powerful stings. Their elbowed antennae and bent forelegs further distinguish them from their termite counterparts. Termites, on the other hand, have a more uniform, cylindrical body, lacking the distinct waist of ants. Their straight antennae and straight forelegs reflect their more ancestral lineage, hinting at their cockroach ancestry. Despite their adversarial relationship, both ants and termites play vital roles in maintaining the delicate balance of their ecosystems. Ants, voracious predators, help regulate populations of other insects, preventing outbreaks that could decimate plant life. Their tireless tunneling activities aerate the soil, improving drainage and providing oxygen to plant roots. As decomposers, ants break down organic matter, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. Termites, though often viewed as pests, are essential decomposers, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. Their ability to digest cellulose, breaking down wood and other plant matter, returns vital nutrients to the soil, enriching its fertility and supporting plant growth. While ants often emerge victorious in their skirmishes with termites, victory is not always assured. Termite colonies with their well-defended fortresses and coordinated defenses can repel even the most determined attackers. The size and complexity of the termite mound play a crucial role in their defense. Large well-established colonies with their labyrinthine tunnels and numerous soldiers pose a formidable challenge to invading ants. Some termite species have even evolved specific adaptations to counter ant attacks. For example, certain species construct their mounds with extremely narrow tunnels, limiting the number of ants that can attack at once. The air above a battlefield, whether it be between armies of ants or nations of men, is thick with the language of conflict. In the insect world, this language is spoken in pheromones, chemical signals that convey a wealth of information. Ants, masters of chemical communication, use pheromones to coordinate their attacks with impressive precision. Scout ants, upon discovering a termite mound, lay down a trail of pheromones, marking the path for their nestmates to follow. As the attack commences, alarm pheromones fill the air, summoning reinforcements from nearby. These chemical calls to arms can quickly transform a minor skirmish into a full-scale invasion, with thousands of ants marching in unison. In summary, the ongoing battle between ants and termites is a fascinating example of predator-prey dynamics and evolutionary adaptation. While ants are formidable predators capable of taking down entire termite colonies, termites have evolved sophisticated defenses that allow them to hold their own against these relentless adversaries. Their interactions are not just physical but also involve complex chemical communication and behavioral strategies that make the fight for survival 
a never-ending saga in the insect world. To learn more about these incredible insects and their fascinating interactions, be sure to check out our recommended resources and dive deeper into the world of ants and termites.